Chris from 40 Thrive and I'm about to have my first meal of the day and today I'm having something very specific. Now recently I took a trip to go visit my mother who is suffering with macular degeneration and she has to have multiple injections in both of her eyes just so she can continue to see with the poor vision that she has. And according to her doctor, there's no avoiding this. When my sister asked the doctor, how do I stay out of your chair? The doctor asked her, can you prevent aging? And she replied, no. He said, can you change your genetics? She also replied, no. And he says, this is just something that you can't avoid. At no time did he make any mention of dietary changes that could help prevent something like getting needles stuck into your eye. Now, I immediately took to the internet and did some quick research, and sure as hell, there are studies that show that eating just one cup of spinach per day reduces your risk of macular de degeneration by nearly 90%. Also, one cup of tree nuts per day will reduce your risk of macular degeneration by 50%. So this was not mentioned at all by the doctor, and you know, why should he? First of all, it's not in his best interest. Second of all, he probably doesn't know because uh, modern uh, medical specialists aren't really taught much in the way of nutrition. Now, I don't even really like spinach that much, but I'll tell you what, if it's gonna keep me out of the doctor's office and stop me from getting needles jabbed in my eye, I think I'll take some spinach. So I'm going to walk you through how I make this, and let's just let's just assume that maybe it, this does not it, it, it's not the remedy. <laughs> what do you have to lose? Okay, if I'm doomed to get needles in my eye, uh, what's it going to hurt for me to have a little bit of spinach and some and some tree nuts? I'm going to show you a delicious dish that I make that incorporates all of that. It is fantastic. Uh, it's really delicious, especially if you like uh, Greek cuisine, something like spanakopita. So what I'm going to do, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and melt a little bit of butter into this pan. Toss in a couple eggs. Go ahead and throw on a cover. Let that simmer for just a couple minutes. Just check on that. I'm not even adding any salt to this because I use salted butter. Those look beautiful. You can let those go just another minute if you like your eggs a little more firm or runny it's up to you those are beautiful go ahead and remove your eggs more butter Toss in one cup of fresh spinach. Oops, get back in there. All this needs is just kissed by the pan. You can see how quickly that wilts down. Go ahead, add in a cup of walnuts or half a cup. Gonna bring out that delicious walnut oil flavor. Add in just a little bit of green onion. Add in just a little feta.
that's it. Just pour that right over top of your egg. Oh my god, that smells amazing. And that's it. You've got yourself one of the most delicious, most nutritious breakfasts you could have. You've got your protein in there, not only from the eggs, but from the nuts, the feta cheese. You've got the most amazing, sorry for the bad camera work. Excuse me. I'll just hold it. <laughs> but you've got the most amazing nutritional value. You could go to a fancy brunch spot in some trendy little neighborhood and pay upwards of $15 for something like this. I just made it for a couple bucks using an electric an electric uh, burner. Mm. Not gonna lie, I was pretty hungry. So, you could either not do this, and then when you reach your 60s, 70s, if you're lucky, your 80s, and start getting injections in your eye, or you could eat this and maybe still get injections in your eye, but at least you've been eating a delicious, healthy breakfast leading up to that. I don't know if I'm selling this right. Either way can hurt, right? But if I hear that there's a 90% chance that I won't have to get needles in my eye simply by eating a cup of spinach a day, I'm going to eat a cup of spinach a day. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.